Lord God, you said in your word that it's by your stripes that we are healed. Yeah. Lord God, we speak healing. We claim healing. Yeah. Lord God, not out of arrogance. Lord God, but because you said we can claim it, Lord God. Yeah. Lord God, we pray this morning, Lord God, for those that are bereaved, Lord God. Yeah. Comfort them, Lord Jesus. Yeah. Keep them, oh Heavenly Father. Give them peace, oh Heavenly yeah. Father. Oh, Heavenly Father, Lord God, we pray for those who are incarcerated, Lord Jesus. Lord God, again, we lift them up before you, Lord God. Lord God, bring them out, Lord God. Bring them out as soldiers, Lord God, as soldiers of the cross, oh, Heavenly Father. Lord God, again, we just want to say thank you, Lord God. Lord God, we want to praise you and we want to lift you up this morning, Lord God. Lord God, we pray this morning for the speaker, Lord God. Lord God, we pray, Lord God, that you will speak through him, Lord Jesus. Give us an ear to hear, Lord God, and a spirit to be obedient, oh Heavenly Father. Lord God, help us, Lord God, to be that light that you said we should be, Lord God. That light that draws a lost and dying world yes, to you, Heavenly Father. Help us, oh Heavenly Father. Yeah. Lord God, now that the words of our mouths and the meditation yeah. of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. Yeah. We ask these and other blessings in your son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God for 
another Sunday, and we just thank God for our being here. I don't know about you, but I'm excited about being in the presence of God one more time. Amen. amen. One more time, God has allowed us to assemble ourselves together. So I'm excited about being here. So let us praise God together this morning. So I don't know about you. Let's treat God with awesomeness today. Amen. Let's treat God with awesomeness today. Because God deserves it. Amen. So let us stand for the last time in January for our responsive reading. Coming from 2 Thessalonians 2 and 13 through 17. Our responsive reading coming from 2 Thessalonians 2, 13 through 17, for the last time in the month of January. We're all in this together, and we're going to I'll read this for the last time in January. Amen. Boy, where has the month gone? My goodness. But we are bound to give thanks to God always for you. Brethren beloved by the Lord, because God from the beginning chose you for salvation through sanctification by the Spirit and belief in the truth. So we Therefore, brethren, stand fast. And hold the tradition which you were taught, whether by word or epistle. Now I am the Lord Jesus Christ himself, and our God and Father, who has loved us and given us the whole message of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 All come to your heart, establish you in every good word and word. Amen. Amen. We can do this. Amen. Amen. This is the year that we can do this. Amen. And we just praise God that this is the year that we can do this and we can all get behind it and push together and do this. Push it across the line. Kind of like pushing jump car, jump starting a car together. We can do this. So we got to all push together, push in the same direction. So let us all get started and push together. We're going to get started. We're going to ask that we would come with a song right now, a congregational song at this time right now, and get ready to come. Brother Elwood, is it going to be you? Or come, Jim, one of y'all going to name someone? Come on. Come on. <laughs> This song is a qualification for Christian. Christian, stay on the line. Y'all help me. Yeah, stay on the line. Stay on the line. God will give you blessing if you stay. Stay on the line. 
listening and worthy. Um, Gino says she's doing good. Um, Deacon Lane worthy. Uh, Miss Night Elite, Miss Rosie McCrummy, Brother Sean Worthy, Sister Jack Rice, Queen Nix, Mr. Mayor Morrow, Brother Willie Nix, Pastor Irvin Williams, Sister Ben Dunn, Sister Emma Shield, and Pastor Matthew Harvey. Um, our Marina family, Katia Nipple, the Kenya Dutry family, the Mitchell family, the Selfish family. They funeralized Mr. Campbell on yesterday. Please continue to lift his family up. And also, uh, Miss Martha lost her mom. Um, so let's please continue to lift Miss Martha Campbell and her Amen. family up Amen. during this time. Anything that we can do, let's please make sure we do so. Whatever it is. Because right. y'all know Miss Martha always is doing it. So let's please remember her. Also, Brother Mike Marshall, y'all know he comes play for us on second Sunday. His grandmother came. So let's please remember Mr. Mike and his family during their time of um, bereavement. Um, also, they're still taking up donations. Selma High School is the drop off point for um, going forward now. They are, Selma High School is the drop off point for any donations, any clothes, any toiletries, whatever it is they're saying now. Selma High School is the only drop off point. Amen. They're still hiring. I know some people that want to go and help tear out trees, help me anything. Please go. They got different set up points. Hey, it needs a thousand dollars just to go cut up some trees. <laughs> so if you know anybody that's looking just to make extra money, please go. Let's remember our linemen. They are still out working um, from sun up to sun down. Let's remember them and their families. Because they're in sale with a dog cattle working and not at home. So they also went and opened up um, one of the colleges there. Selma University for the linemen to stay oh. while they're continuing work. So let's please yeah. continue to lift all those in prayer. Yeah. Leave them your next. Oh, also, okay. let me not forget, you can ever would like to see the members immediately after church. You said it only takes 10 minutes. So please, let's stay after church for about 10 minutes. The deacons would like to talk to us. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sister Mitch, for our announcements. Uh, uh, please keep those in mind. Uh, please keep all of our sick and shed in mind. Uh, we do a visitation on yesterday. They ask about Pleasant Hill all the time. So, um, coronavirus is kind of back in some of the areas. So, when you go and visit, you may have to mask up or do shield up and do different things. But, Please continue to pray for them and, and keep them in mind. Uh, Cause none of they got it down pat. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. When, when you go visit her, she got the corner down and she got her own little group. Um, 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 you, you, you got to see it to believe. No, you already know. So she, she, she got her own little group on the corner and man, they kind of hybrid, kind of hybrid around her. So. It's so good to see her uh, doing well. Uh, visit Brother Lane on yesterday. I think he'll be coming home on Tuesday. So, so good to see him doing well. Uh, Y'all pray for our sick and shut in. Continue to keep our sister Martha lifted up. You know, she still hurts. Mama would have been 97 this coming week, but it still hurts. It still hurts. So, uh, please keep Sister Georgia lifted up, you know. Uh, keep her lifted up. Sometimes, as children, you do what you have to do. You do what you have to do. Not because that's what you want to do. You do what you have to do. Okay? So, uh, just keep that in mind. Just keep them lifted up in your prayers. Uh, because you know something, all of us are traveling down the road that we cannot do nothing about. We're coming to a destination. That we, you know, the Bible talked about us that all of us are walking the road that we, we're going in a direction that we're now someone is leading you by the hand, but sooner or later you'll be led by the hand. Somebody will be leading you, so think, think, think about that. So, um, 
got to be real careful about that. So it's giving time. Uh, it's time to give unto the Lord. The Lord blesses the cheerful gift. Yes. So I'm going to let it be up to you whether you want to be cheerful about your giving. God has been good to us. If you were here this morning about to hear about the book of Joel, how God has richly blessed the people of God, doing even the family, God blessed them. And I believe that God blessed Pleasant Hill even doing the family. Even during Corona, God blessed us. So God has been good to us and we ought to render back to God what belongs to God. Amen. So let, at this time, let us come giving the tithes and offering at this time. Officers, will you come? Let us come giving at this time, please. Amen. 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 And you can't be God giving church. Just want to say thank you, God, 
God, we want to say thank you for things being as well as they are, God. God, right now, while we're gathered in your house, God, we ask that you will be in the midst of God right now, Father God. Yes, God, we thank you for these tithes and offerings that we have taken up for the upbuilding of your kingdom, Father God. God, we ask that you will bless it for the upbuilding of your kingdom, Father yes, God. Lord. God, we yes. ask that you will bless all that gave and all those who have a desire to give, but yes, have it this time, God. Yes. We ask that you continue to bless them, Father God. In your son, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.
throw it in the towel. Be absolutely ready to give up. You ready to say I'm having enough? Hang on in there just a little while. So, Pastor Nick has a word from heaven. And I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray. That your heart is ready to hear from heaven. Because of the day. It's been a rough week. <coughs> this has been a week from hell. I need the word. I need to hear from heaven. I don't need no crap. I don't need to hear what you had to say. I need to hear from God. When I've been beaten up, I don't need to hear, I don't need to hear what you got to say. I need to hear from God. I don't cry out of agony. I don't cry out of willingness. Say, God, I'm open to you. Whatever you're doing in this season, Lord, I'm yours. Yes, 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 yes. So, Lord, I'm yours. So I'm going to ask Jazz to give us just a little bit of our God's amazing grace. The next voice you hear will be that of Pastor Don Nick as he come to give us a word from heaven. I don't know about you, but be ready. Be ready. Come on, Father God.
let us pray this morning our Father that our God God is once again we gather here in this place to worship your holy and righteous name we pray now Lord that you would hide me behind the cross of death not of me, but of all of you. Father, we pray that the Holy Spirit would rise up a little bit within the hearts of every believer, that we might have the discernment of what you're doing and saying in this hour. We ask you this to have your way to speak to our hearts and our minds. We ask you now to strengthen us through your preaching of your word. Anoint us with that preaching anointing. And we give you honor, glory, and praise. We pray this prayer in your Son and our Lord Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Christ. Amen. We welcome here the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit yes, Father. to this very able pastor, yes, Pastor Nix. Yes, Amen. My wife and sister Nix, all the ministers and all of you God's children who are here today it is indeed a blessing to be in the house yes, of the Lord. Amen. I believe that you know and I believe that you can agree with me when I say that it is good for us to be here. Yes. Amen. Amen. So many familiar faces. Amen. It's good to have a good turnout. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Truly, the Lord is great. Amen. And he is greatly to be praised. Amen. Amen. We serve, we serve a good God. Amen. A God most of all who is faithful to his word. Amen. We're not going to prolong the time. If you have your Bibles, turn with me to the Amen. Old Testament. Amen. The Old Covenant. Well, uh, the book of Nehemiah is located. Amen. The book of Nehemiah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Nehemiah. Let's look at the fourth chapter. Amen. And we're going to go over to the sixth chapter as well. Tell the Lord's reading, but we must do this for clarity. Amen. Amen. But the Bible teaches us out of all I give and all I give yes, to get an understanding. Amen. Amen. And we need an understanding of what God is doing and saying in this hour. I tell you, in these turbulent times, in these last and evil days, we need to be certain concerning what God is saying to us. Amen? Amen. And if you're found, shout glory. Amen. That's all the found that one or two. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Nehemiah, we're going to look at the fourth chapter of the beginning. Well, amen. Verse 6, uh, verse 6 through 9. And then we're going to turn over to the sixth chapter, read verses 1 through 4. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. And the word of God reads. So we built the wall, and the entire wall was joined together up to half its height. For the people had a mind to work. Now it happened when Sambalot, Tobias, the Arab, and Amalek, 
and the Ammonites and Donites heard that the wall of Jerusalem was being restored. And the gals, everybody's a gal. Yes. I want you to remember that. And and the gals was being, amen, that was beginning to be closed, that they became very angry. And all of them conspired together and came and attacked Jerusalem, amen, and created confusion. Nevertheless, we made our prayers to our God. And because of them, we set a watch against them day and night. Everybody said, watch and pray. Watch and pray. Amen. The sixth chapter, beginning with verse one. We're going to read one through four. Amen. Amen. Now it happened when some battle to the, to, uh, to Bio, Amen. Gushing and gushing to Abraham and the rest of our enemies heard that I had rebuilt the wall. Amen. And that there was no everybody said break. And there was no break left in it. Though at that time I had not hung the doors and the gates. That same Bible and Gushing sent to me, saying, "Come, let us meet together among the back of, among the village and the plains of Ono." But they, but they sought to do me harm. So I sent message to them, saying, "I am doing a great work, so that I cannot come down." Why should the work cease while I leave it and go down to you? But they sent me this message four times, and I answered them in the same manner. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. We're going to talk about to you Today in your hearing from the subject concern for the people and things of God. Mm -hmm. And we're going to use from sub subsubject gaps and breaks. Mm -hmm. Amen. Concern for the people and things of God. I believe and know today for certain that when we as believers concern ourselves with the things that God are concerned with, then we don't have to want for anything. In fact, he said it in his word that if you seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all these things will be added to you. For he had just told them not to be worried about what they would eat, what they would wear. Amen. And what they would and where they would stay. Amen. But we understand that we as believers must have and must have the heart of God. Amen. Amen. Because if we're going to minister to those who are lost, we must understand that this is our mandate that has been given to us. This is our commission that we go and lead lost souls to Christ. Right. Yes, sir. Truly, there is things that will happen along the way that will grip your heart if you are a born again believer. Amen. 
We see here that Nehemiah was one, a man who was one of the exiles who never checked Nazareth, one of the sons and children at least, who had been taken down into captivity. And we understand that he now are uh, serving one of the kings, a man of Xerxes. And he is a cupbearer. He has a government job. And he has a very important job. Yes, sir. It doesn't matter where you are. If you are faithful to God, God will bless you. Amen. Although you might be in a foreign land in a different country, but God will give you favor. Amen. He gave it to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He gave it to Daniel. These boys were also government officials over providence. Even Daniel rose to the, to the providence of prime minister. Yes. So we don't have to worry about, amen, what we're going to do and how we're going to do if we just keep God firm. Yes. Amen. We ought to be concerned about the needs of the people around us. Amen. There are many people around us that are in despair. Amen. amen. And there's them that have gone through the storm. Amen. amen. It doesn't take much to for you to know that there is neighborhoods filled with people who are in destitute. Right. Amen. There are people, amen, who are homeless, hungry, thirsty. Amen. amen. There are people that we need to address the needs of. There are the masses of people, praise the Lord, that needs help. And we know other we know no other help but the Lord. Amen. We understand today that Nehemiah was not a prophet. He was not a priest. He was not a man, uh, a, a man, one of the elders of the church. But he was a layman. You don't have to be standing here. You don't have to be pastor. Right. Amen. To have the heart to That's do right. what's right. right. And don't, don't do those things that are pleasing to God. Amen. Nehemiah, praise the Lord, was only a cupbearer. Yes, sir. But he had an important job. Right. Yeah. Nehemiah was the cupbearer of the king of Persia. Amen. And, and his cupbearing job was a permanent responsibility that he had. Mm -hmm. He had this responsibility to taste the king's wine in case somebody or someone was trying to assassinate him, especially with poison. Amen. It was his job to be faithful. It was his job to be committed, praise the Lord. It was his job, amen, to be dependable. The king had to trust him. The king laid his very life on the line when it came to Nehemiah doing his job. And we need to know that even about it, any time you came before the king, you need to come with the right countenance. Yeah. You could come before the king looking sad, yeah. down and out, and mad as if he wasn't doing a good job, or if you was depressed, amen, and you didn't need to bring him down. You need to be happy, bright eyed, bushy tail, <laughs> and everything is well. Amen. Because he had the power, praise God, to have you put to death just for coming into his presence down trying. Amen. We need to know that 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 that, that God gives favor. It doesn't matter. God goes before us and God works things out. Amen. Nehemiah, praise the Lord, as we see him here. Amen. One day was Amen. Out in the foyer, and some of the guys came from Judah, and he asked them the question: How are things going back home? And they told him the awful news. Yes. Amen. How? Amen. The the the, the, the temple was, and 
and all that was going on with the people, how they was oppressed and how they, how they was downtrodden, mistreated. And he told them about the walls being down. Yes. And he told them about the gates being burned. And he said, it's bad, man. It's bad. It, 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 it's, it's just a shame. It's a disgrace. They are in reproach. And all of this bad news broke near by his heart. Amen. It broke his heart to the core to hear about his people. To hear about, amen, the things of God, the temple, the, 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 the security of the people. It broke his heart to, to, to know that they was vulnerable to the enemy. And it ought to break our heart to know that there are some people that are not saved. There are, not, there are some people that are not born again believers like you are. And I want you to know today that they are vulnerable to the enemy. Yes, Amen. The enemy can just have his way with them. Amen. And it ought not be a, 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 a settled moment at a time that we are satisfied with being saved and our brothers and our sisters are not saved. Yes, you ought to want to see everybody saved yes, because this is the will of God. Yes, you ought to see, you ought to feel something when people are going through it, when people are hurting, amen, when people are being mistreated. You ought to have concern, concern. Amen. We are people of God and we are people of compassion. It's time to step up to the plate. Okay. It's time for us, praise the Lord, to come to the rescue of those that don't know the goodness of our God. Yes, God is not a respectful person. God, if he did it for you, he will do it for them. But we have got to take the initiative. It must be in our heart to do something concerning God for our brothers and sisters. I said the other day, amen, that you, if you're going to serve God, it's not because you're going to get to go to heaven and serve him. Amen. God is in heaven and we are here. The only way that you can serve God right now and today is through people. Yeah. You must serve God. You must minister. And ministry is about people. Amen. If you're going to minister, if you're going to be a servant of the Lord, if you call yourself a minister, then you must be concerned about the needs of others. You must be concerned with what they are going through. Because it could have been you. Amen. Amen. We have to know that God is concerned about others. About others, Nehemiah heard this news, and the Bible said he wept bitterly. Yes. Amen. And he fasted for seven days, and most of all, he prayed for the situation and the condition, yeah. and he sought God. Amen. For a, a remedy, for praise the Lord. And no doubt, Nehemiah knowing that, Amen. This is something that. It's going to take God to do. Yes, sir. Because I'm going to have to have favor with the king. And only somebody that can touch the king hard is God. The word of God says it is God that put up kings and pull kings down. Amen. There's never been a king on the throne that God didn't allow. God, God is over all kings. He's Lord of Lord and he's king of kings. Amen. So we see Nehemiah being concerned, heart gripped with what he heard. You need to know that Nehemiah was born in exile. He was born in captivity. Amen. He didn't come in on the boat with Nehemiah, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, and, 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 and Daniel. They were just for years after the But he had a prominent position. Amen. But he believed God. Yeah. That God would give him an open door. Yeah. You need to know that you can do things, yeah. but you need to know that you must put forth some effort yeah. and pray to God to yeah. give you an open door. Yeah. And when you get that open door to God, you yeah. need to know that God can open doors that no man can open. Yeah. And he can close doors yeah. that no man can open. Open doors so nobody can give it to you. Oh, yeah, yeah. When God opened the door for you to go to heaven, 
go in. And you step in, and you're in the right place. Amen. And then Nehemiah went before the king. The king told him that now something is wrong, Nehemiah. I know you're not sick, and your countenance is down. Yeah, and this was a great opportunity for Nehemiah, praise the Lord, to let the, let the king know what had him down trying. Amen. Nehemiah was a faithful servant. Praise the Lord. Yeah, and no doubt they were so close, even a faithful advisor. So the king, amen, loved Nehemiah because he had been with him so long. Amen. Yeah. Amen. He was concerned about what was troubling his servant, Nehemiah. Praise the Lord. And Nehemiah told him about what was going on. How can I be happy when everything back home is all messed up and, and I just I just need a he says, I just need to get a breakthrough, praise the Lord. The king asked him, what would you have me to do? And he explained to the king what he needed. Yes. And the king gave him all that he needed. Yes. He gave him a letter of passport to get through to it. Amen. And when he got there, I gave him a letter to uh it, so he could get lumber from the king forest to do the work. But Nehemiah had a plane, praise the Lord. And who will know that we all need a plane? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You can't do anything without a plane. Yeah. Amen. Nehemiah went there. And the Bible said that when he got there, it was three days before he told anybody why he was there. Yeah. Because he wanted to check out the situation for himself. So folks can tell you something, but it's nothing like you going to be a part of it and look at it and see it for yourself. You get on folks and say that it's bad, and it ain't as bad as they say. And folks can say it's going pretty good, but when you get down, it's too hard for the folks. You need to evaluate what's going on for yourself. We need to know what God would have us to do concerning ministry to the people. It's going to be fine. Amen? Amen. So we see here that Nehemiah went there. And the Bible said he got up one night and he went and he checked the place out. Amen. God had sent. Amen. Everybody in it. Yeah. And he said, uh, Tobias, they had went to rebuild the temple, right. but because of persecution, they had failed. Right. And we had to make the understand that later on they did build the temple. But there was so much rubbish yeah. where the walls was torn down. Yeah. There had been a fire. The gates were burning. The doors were and it was a mess, as worse as, as, worse as they said it was. Yes. Amen. The people, even the people around them was dominating them. Yes. Even the people, the Jews that was in exile, went back, and the ones that got ahead were still oppressing those who didn't have anything. Uh -huh. Near my seat, the situation, knowing that the first thing needs to be done is the wall need to be built. Yes, sir. Amen, amen. The walls need to be built because when there's no wall, the Bible said, that a man that does not control his spirit is like a broken down city that yeah. has no wall. Yes, you need to be vulnerable to the enemy. Yeah. You don't never need to be vulnerable to the enemy. Wow. You need to be saved. Yeah. You, need to, you need to have the protection of the Holy right. Spirit around you. Right. You need to be able to pray to God to be that fix around yeah. you. Yeah. He'll yeah. protect you every day. Amen. But he saw that the walls was down. He saw the rubbish, praise the Lord. And we see that Nehemiah, he went and told the people, amen, about the situation. Amen. And how God had moved upon the king. And how he gave him the letter, and how he had the permission to rebuild, and he had to go ahead, and how he's going to get lumber from the king father, and all of them rose up. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the scripture says, Amen, and praise the Lord, as we look at our text. So we built the wall, and the entire wall was joined together up to half its height. 
But the people had a mind to work. You need to know that you need to have a mind to work. Amen. If you're going to do something for the Lord, you need to be done as a made up mind. You need to be in your heart so you can give it your best. Amen. They had a mind to work. If that ain't happening sometimes, the Bible, amen, the Arab and the Amorite and, 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 and the Ash, the Dite, amen, heard that the walls of Jerusalem were being restored and the gap was being, amen, amen, beginning to be closed, that they were very angry. <laughs> they heard that this work was going on. These are the ones that were dominating Jerusalem. Right, that's right. They were free to come in okay. and, 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 and and go as they please. Yes. But they had news now that that was about to stop. Mm. That, that, that there was a man sent by God to rebuild the wall. So that in case of an invasion, in case of war, they would no longer be vulnerable. There was a man come to not only, amen, close the gap, but there's a man coming that's going to secure the bricks in the wall. And he's going to build the wall. And they was angry. You need to know that the only way that you can have the wall of protection in your life is that you have Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Because if you don't have Jesus Christ, the enemy is free to come in and go out and go out. Yeah. Yeah. 
the breaks. The breaks, Pastor. There's many breaks that we take. Amen. We need to stop breaking. Amen. Amen. We need to be a Bible study. What you at the house sitting down taking a break for? Sunday school. Ain't no more breaks. It's time. You're not going to be able. You're not going to be able to do what you said to do. That's it for me or not. Come on back. Come on back. Leave us at home.
turn them into bread. Mm -hmm. If you be the son of God. Yeah. Jesus said, man should not live with bread. Every word. Every word. Every word. This is what comes out of the mouth of God. Right. 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 It's not what it is. In the word in the screen. That's right. Word in the screen no good for That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Word from the Lord. Right. Amen. 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 Throw yourself off. Yeah. Amen. Lord. You know, the Lord give you angels to that. Catch you if you throw yourself off. Yeah. When he took him up on the high stage. Yes, sir. Amen. Bow down and worship me. I give you everything you see here. No, no, it was already here. <laughs> so you got to know the truth. Amen. <laughs> it was already here. Amen. He said, I serve the Lord in heaven. That's right. Amen. 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 When you have the word. The devil has nothing against you. Mm. Amen. Amen. And you're going to need the word right. when compassion comes. Yeah. Yeah. When you see a need, yeah. when you see people mm. that are down there, mm. your life needs to be in such a way that you can first of all pray for Amen. 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 Wow. You need to have the compassion to say, I'm going to address this man. Amen. And if you have this in Christ in you, That's right. you won't let it pass you back. Amen. You Amen. won't let it pass you back. Amen. I said the other day in Sunday school, I've been a man of the world, but thank God I've been walking with the Lord a long time now. Matter of fact, this one right here, I stood right there. 29 years ago, I preached my first time. Go ahead, preach. Amen. 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 But, but, but this is what I'm trying to say. When you seriously about God, that's you know, right. Amen. 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 You won't let nothing to do. That's right. I've been a man of the world. I've drank, I've done, and I've parted. I've done it all. All right, all right. Relationships, split up. Did you hear what I'm saying? Amen. 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 Saying feel good. Mm -hmm. okay. It does. Okay. It's not that God don't want you to have no fun, but He knows what sin will do. Sin will right. destroy you. Yeah. 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 But it almost got me. Yeah. Do you hear what I'm saying? <laughs> it, it almost got me. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Amen. But what God is trying to tell you today is, Amen, that you need to you need to make a change. Amen. You need to make a decision that I am going to serve the Lord and I'm going to serve Him alone. Oh, and all those good feelings I thought I had when I was before partying and drinking and doping and, and, and running here and there everywhere. Amen. The best feeling I ever got. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Thank you for being there. Yes. Amen. God is the one that has given us all that we need. That's right. You know, sometimes we we preach in different ways. It just depends on how the Lord moves you to preach. Amen. Right. A preacher teach and then you got another preaching, praise the Lord. That's right. But God, Pastor, I only done what He asked me to do Amen. concerning my people. Amen. I know you're God's people, but you're my people. Right. You're my family. Right. And I've been coming down here the last three weeks and it's just empty. You've been taking breaks. All right. You need to stop taking breaks and come around the house of the Lord. And you come out to, 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 to be taught so you can be a strong force to be reckoned for the Lord. Amen. 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 Ask us here. He's in his place. He can't pick you from the house. I mean, it's good to go out on the air, but you need to be here. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Sorry for him sometimes. Yeah. But you know something? It's to remind.